Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. Couple of videos back, I showed you how we can use where clause to apply filters onto your SQL queries and eventually apply filters to your out final output. Now we're going to take one step forward from there and I'll show you today how we can use wildcards and like statement to power up your where clause. So let's write a select statement first. So I'm going to say select name from again, I'm using the same table as before. Now I'm going to write a where clause here. Okay. And I'm going to say name. Now up until now, you saw how we can use an equal to sign or a greater than or less than or greater than equal to sign or not equal to sign to get our output or get our filters into your where clause, right? Now, what if you do not know the exact value that you want to find? Instead, you want certain combinations of letters in a certain string. In layman terms, you want to apply a contains filter instead of an equal to or not equal to filter. Okay. So you just wanted to identify if a certain string contains a certain letter at a certain position, then you would need that result, right? So in order to do that, SQL gives an option, which is called as like, okay. So I'm going to say name like, which is again a keyword and we're going to use like with certain wildcards. Okay. And essentially we're going to cover two main wildcards today. First one is a percentage sign and second one is an underscore. Okay. And I'm going to explain the relevance of each one of them with an example. Now let's say you want to find every string inside your table, which starts with the letter P and can have any number of letters after P. I'm going to write P and then percentage. So here I'm instructing SQL to give me every word which starts with the letter P and can have any number of letters after that. So if you see the output says Peyton, Peter, Pam, Paulo, Pamela, right? All of these are starting with from the letter P, but have multiple numbers of letters post that letter. Now comes the second condition. You want all the row items from the table, which ends with the letter Y. Okay. So in that case, you will have percentage before Y. Okay. And mind you, this is case sensitive. So for SQL, a capital Y and a small Y are two different things. Okay. Now this simply is asking SQL to give me all the outputs, which can have any number of letters in that string, but ends with the letter Y. Okay. And when I run this, it will give me this output. If you see all of these outputs are ending with the letter Y, but have various number of letters within the string. Now, what if you want to identify all the strings which have E as the second letter? So to do that, you will use an underscore sign. Now this simply means the string should be starting with some letter, but the second letter should be Y. If you do not give any other wildcard here, it will simply imply that the total length of the character should be two. Right. But I don't think there is any name with just two letters here. So I'm going to write a percentage sign, which means it start with any letter. Second letter should be E and then it can have any number of letters. Okay. Now if I run this, observe all the second letters are E here. Similarly, you can use a combination of underscores and percentage to get your desired output from a particular table or a column. Right. And this is not just limited to just one underscore. I can find out the third character as well. So I'll enter one more underscore here. And let's say I'm going to enter a Y here and run. It will give me all the characters or all the strings, which has Y as the third letter and can have any number of letters after that. So if you see Peyton, Y is in the third, third position, Alisa, Y is in the third position and similarly, right. So I hope you understood how we use like and wildcards together to power up your where clause. So that is it for today. I hope you learned something new today. If you like my content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.